Ka koro ki ngā manu ka tākiri ko te ata. Ko te tangi ata tūi, 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 tūia. Ko te tangi ata huia, hui, hui, huia. Ko te tangi ata tangata, kanohi ki te kanohi. Kei aku manu taki, kei aku manu tāuko e kai ta mā tauranga, tēnā ko te katoa. Mau wao, which means caught by the dawn. Is the ancestral mountain that stands at the entrance to Jawanui Harbour. Tauranga is the sea abundant with fish and shellfish that sustains its people. Takitimu and Matatua are the ancestral canoes that connect us to story and to place. Ngāti Ranginui, Ngāti Rangi, and Ngāti Pūkinga are the tribes that keep the home fires burning. Tauranga Moana, Tauranga Tangata. In December 2020, our heritage and research team at Tauranga City Libraries launched our brand new online heritage platform called Paikoriki Tauranga Archives Online. We sought to be different and unique and from this, it started with the name. In 2019, on behalf of our team, I approached Hui Kākahu Kawe of Ngaitiahi and Ngāti Maniapoto. I discussed with them our kaupapa and our project and asked him if he would gift us a name. Two weeks later, he gave us Paikoriki. Fast forward to the launch of Paikoriki. Hui, Hui Kākahu came and conducted the opening and blessing of our platform. To our biggest supporter, me mihi katika, kia whaiatu ngā whakaaro, kia koe te rangatira. Koutou hoki ko tō whānau e noho pani ana e noho moke moke ana. E te rangatira, e moe, e takato, haere atu rā. It took, a year, it took our team a year and a half to conceptualise, design and build Paikoriki. It was during this time Harley and I began to wānanga how we as an institution might alter our approach to be more culturally responsive. After having many wānanga with our team, we realised we wanted to expand our understanding of kaitiakitanga, manakitanga and whanaungatanga. Harley and I created a framework called the Kaitiakitanga Framework. It is a framework that integrates Mātauranga Māori or Māori knowledge with how we manage online access and online use and reuse. The usefulness of the Kaitiakitanga Framework in our mind is that it makes visible for Pākehā what we often assume to be so obvious and so normal that surely everyone thinks like that. And while we Pākehā operate like that, we're a little bit uh, prone to helping ourselves to te reo words and sticking them on Pākehā concepts. But once we hold our own assumptions up to the light of day, we're then more likely to begin to recognise Mātauranga Māori as its own world and not a variation of ours. All of which is to say, whoops, I think we're racist, discovering the universe next door. So let's have a look at Te Opakia as it relates to heritage material. With Te Opakia, orientation around access um, and reuse is informed mostly by our individualism and concept of individual ownership. We enact that basic orientation with the idea of intellectual property and protect the individual creator's right to control, be associated with and profit from their intellectual work. We can summarise that orientation with the phrase, it's mine, I made it. These are the tools that are often used from that framework and they characterise much of our online access practice as memory institutions. 
We can arrange them by degrees of control and degrees of openness. And although these tools spring from Te Opakia, Māori content creators, of course, also use them. But what is a Māori alternative to its mine I made it? What is the primary orientation? Elisha and I believe that a powerful shorthand that contrasts that Pākehā orientation is, it's ours, we connect to it. What tools then need to be developed at a policy level, at a metadata level, at a practice level, and how can we place these tools and mindsets side by side? Over several years, and with support from archivist Abby Warren, we developed additional workable tools suitable, suited to Mataranga Māori and Te Māori. And with these new tools, we find ourselves now able to make decisions regarding collection, description, uh, preservation, access of Māori heritage material, as well as general material uh, where Māori are clearly stakeholders. And that stops us either riding roughshod over Māori interests or feeling paralysed and effectively hiding such material away in the too hard basket. So let's look at some of those tools now. As a result of this framework, we've introduced four practices or tools which come from key Māori concepts. These have reshaped how we do our BAU. These four practices fundamentally come from the values and tutility of Waitangi and our guiding principles. Our guiding principles are mana, tapu, mauri, whakapapa and tikanga Māori. We recognise that heritage collections and items are taonga, and when looked at from a Māori perspective, they carry these guiding principles. Our first unique practice that we've introduced is Kaitiakitanga Statement. This is a new metadata field that we've added when writing metadata. Its purpose is to communicate to the public our stance as an institution. Ultimately, we are communicating our values to the public. We've introduced cultural ethical status. This is also a new metadata field. Its purpose is to assign an item a layer of restriction or openness from a cultural or moral perspective as opposed to legal. We have created a pick list of four options to choose from, again coming from Māori concepts. These are tapu, noa, aukati and rahui. Tapu is used to restrict online or physical access. Noa is used when no restrictions apply to an, to an item. Aukati is used when there are partial online or physical restrictions. And rahui is used when there is a temporary restriction bound by time. In addition, we have a restrictions metadata field. This allows us to describe in more detail why a cultural ethical status has been chosen. This field also puts into plain terms the copyright and licensing fields as well as any handling restrictions. For us, Whakapapa is considered core metadata and when writing for Māori collections or items, where possible alongside existing metadata fields such as the title, date, description, or donor, etc. will include the pepeha information of people or places in the metadata fields. Lastly, we've established an MOU, which embodies the spirit of treaty partnership. What's unique about this MOU is that it fosters a partnership approach to working with our community. Physical or intellectual ownership will never be transferred to Tauranga City Libraries using the MOU, but rather the man of ownership stays with the community and we enter a partnership approach to the care of their taonga. This MOU uses the term deposit as opposed to donate. 
This has come from Māori concepts known as takoha and tuku. With a framework that recognises two worlds and a raft of new tools, we can now understand what practices to apply and when to apply them. So let's turn now and look at a few examples. Our first example is Taranga City Library's photograph 11031. It's taken atop of Hopukiori or Mount Jury, facing the beach at Mount Manganui, the foothills of Mawao in the distance. The photograph originates from an individual creator, and although we don't know who that is, because of its age, it's now slipped into the public domain. So we'd use the phrase no known copyright within the copyright field. Uh, Mātanga Tāngwa Tokyo Māori, which is Elisha here, identifies the cultural ethical status as noa, and because there is no interaction between the two fields, the restrictions field simply says no cultural ethical restrictions apply. Photograph 2435 is a group of Hangaro Marae descendants taken in the late 1980s. Note this image contains Whakapapa fields, which is linked data, and we've protected it from overuse by limiting it only to um, Māori, uh, content where Māori are stakeholders. This photograph was taken by an American photographer, Brad Birch, and recently his descendants transferred copyright to Tauranga City Libraries. If operating only from a Pākehā mindset, we would probably have licensed this for openness. However, it's clearly an image where that's ours, we connect to it, also applies. And the donor of the collection is from this community. As the donor of the collection wanted some slowing down of how far and wide the good quality uh, versions of these images went, we've refrained from licensing it with a CC by 4 license and remove the capacity to download the high quality versions, something the Recollect platform underneath Pākōriki enables us to do at an item level. This is reflected in a cultural ethical status of Okati and a restrictions field which says partial cultural ethical restrictions apply to request, request a copy or inquire as to reuse, uh, please contact, etc, etc, etc. Other images, such as these, some of these stills from the 1935 film Heitiki, although in the public domain, contain some child nudity and have therefore been assigned a tapu status, enacted in this case by the redact feature in the Recollect platform. Occasionally, we've also redacted photographs which depict corpses from the First World War or koiwi washed up on a beach. Of the more than 38,000 photographs we have on Paikoriki as at February 2022, only 11 have been assigned the Tapu state, and 172 have an Okati state. We began with a waho haurua, a migratory waka passing before Mawao. And if we look at those two holes fitted together, we see a, a, an appropriate illustration as to partnership within the glam sector. The wakahaurua floats upon Te Tiriti o Waitangi. Its two holes are bound together by the values within Te Tiriti, each universe to the universe next door. The sails, ramatua, rakei, can each be set and trimmed according to the current conditions. And these are the tools glam use, and in this context, they are the familiar to us tools and the new, newly developed ones. In other contexts that require treaty partnership, these sales might represent different sets of tools. Each of these components are described in more detail in our case study. So come along to uh, paikoriki.tauranga.gov.nz, click the more button, find the wakahodua model to read a more detailed case study, or reach out to us in person. We'd love to see other GLAM institutions pick up this model, adopt and improve on it.
Nō reira, kei aku nui, kei aku rahi, huri noa o te motu, tēnā koutou katoa.